I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm starting off another video. Hello, by the way. With my hair looking crazy. It's not that bad. I mean, it is bad, but it's not like that bad. Like my hair is not in a bad state. It's just not done. The past three nights, um, I didn't really have my bonnet, so it's just looking crazy. By the way, look at this smile. <laughs> you guys, I um, went to the dentist this morning. I hate the dentist. I literally hate the dentist. Like, it's it hasn't been as real to me as it is now. But anyways, in this video, what I wanna do is I want to be intentional about me. I wanna be intentional about me and taking care of myself. Self-care as a mom is something that you have to purposefully do or it's not going to happen. Like. This weekend has been so busy. I have been so tired. I have had so many late nights. I'm so, I'm, I'm disgusted at how much sleep I didn't get, you know? And while, um, a brain fart, because I'm only operating on like 30% capacity of myself right now. So I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, and my, my face. Like, I look like a different person on this side. That looks like somebody else. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing some things to take care of myself. You guys, look at these eyebrows, first of all. I need to wax my eyebrows. That's one thing, obviously do my hair. I'm thinking about doing um, like two feet and braids, cause that, you know, for a mom on the go, that will last about a week and you're gonna feel good and look good every day. So the feet and braids might be the way to go. <laughs> for this week, but um, I'm gonna do my nails. They're so grown out. Ew, disgusting. You guys, the sounds I hear in my house while I'm here alone. I think it was just the ice maker. So, I am, what I'm going to do is, like I said, my nails, my eyebrows, I'm going to do a face mask. Take care of my face, okay? And I'm just going to do, I might even take a bath. Like I'm just gonna do all the things that I need to do. I'm gonna share with you guys some things that I do to take care of myself. It's that time of the month, which I'm not excited about um, ever, unless I'm just happy that I'm not pregnant. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit later once this wears off, cause this is so crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys, I cannot help but like crack up laughing whenever. I have to go on Instagram because y'all are gonna be cracking up at me because I, I, I can't. Anyways, oh, a side note, the art's up. How are we feeling about it, guys? We just put it up like two days ago and I think it turned out really good. I'm so glad we did it. It has some touch up work it needs, you know, some TLC, but overall it looks good. So guys, I'm gonna go now, but this is just the introduction so you guys know what's gonna happen in this video. Mama's gonna take care of mama, okay? If you don't, like I said, nobody else will. You gotta take care of yourself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You need to take care of you. This is your sign as a mother, caretaker, guardian, whatever it is that you do, whatever you do for others, just a wife. Whether you're any of those things or not, it's important to take care of yourself and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna transform from this into something a lot more beautiful and a lot more feeling a lot better mentally and physically. And that's what we're gonna do. So come along for the ride, okay? Okay guys, so it is Thursday and I have not done one single ounce of self-care this week yet. You know, this is just a real life example of how even when you plan to take care of yourself, sometimes it still doesn't happen. It's been an extremely busy week. I've came off a weekend of like barely any sleep like I told you guys. But here I am. I went to the gym this morning and I worked all morning. It's like late afternoon and I'm getting ready to take a shower. I have the wax warmer on. I'm going to show it to you guys everything about it. We're going to take care of this mustache, eyebrows. We're gonna take care of that. Anything else, I wanna try to do my nails tonight. They still look so bad, like so bad. And that's still on the list. And so face mask, bath, nails, those are still on the list. And toes, I was telling my husband what I'm gonna do and he's like, and do, and do your toes, do your toes. <laughs> they look bad, so yeah, here we go.
Hey guys, so the wax is still heating up. So while that's heating up, I decided to sit down and share with you guys a little bit. I know I told you guys that it's that time of the month for me. Not a fun time, but it's that time of the month. That's what's happening in my life. And so I want to share with you guys something that actually is kind of like self-care because it helps me not be stressed out every time I'm on my cycle. So we all know periods are a blessing from God. They allow us to have children and all these things. Great, great, great. But they're a nuisance. They're annoying. They're, oh, they're painful. They're like, they're just not fun, especially when you talk about leaking. My this company, Lilova, reached out to me about sending me their product and they just want to send it to me there was no obligation so i said okay cool because i had heard of a similar brand before and i was actually considering purchasing i never purchased but here we are the similar brand lolova when we first opened the package my husband was with me in the car and i was so excited that i got out the mailbox hopped in the car and opened the package and we bust out laughing we were so weak we're like they look so big this is never gonna fit they're so like they're thick like this is a big joke right I'm not gonna lie, that's how I felt. I was like, no, there's no way. Well, <laughs> these definitely fit. They fit. Before I show you though, <laughs> let me tell you what it is. Okay. This, this product is period panties. There, I said it. It's period underwear, underwear you wear on your period. This is um, absorbent underwear, meaning you don't wear a pad, you don't wear a tampon, you don't wear a liner, you just wear these, typically. Like, that's how they're designed, okay? Um, I know it sounds sus, because I was just like, mm, I don't know. But I was curious, um, because you can use it as a backup. And I do not wear pads. Pads are never going to enter my life again. I will never, I will not be wearing, no, I'm not doing it. I don't like pads at all. I just don't like them. With my IUD that I have for birth control, my periods can be like heavier sometimes and like not as heavy. And I have been trying out a lot of all natural, like organic tampons and no shade to the all natural life of cotton and whatever all that stuff is. But it wasn't working. They were, I was leaking all the time. I was so frustrated. And so I gave up on the organic tampon life. However, if y'all know a good one, a good brand, let me know. Cause I tried a few and it was just not happening. But the leaking is frustrating. It's embarrassing. It's stressful. It's just bad. It's just bad. We don't like it. So I was like, maybe this could be a good backup, right? So I got them in my first cycle. I use it for three cycles, including the one I'm on now. So the first one, I tried it on a light day. Didn't leak. Second period, I tried them on a heavy day with no tampon and I didn't leak and then I washed them and tried them again with a tampon and I didn't leak and so I thought that was really awesome because even when I was wearing the tampon the tampon leaked but the underwear didn't leak so this is how they look this is how they are the padding goes from like here in the front all the way around to the top of the back they do feel like thick and secure but not in a way that's gonna make you look weird under your clothes or anything, so I did appreciate that. I mean, they don't feel like regular underwear. I would not say that. They are like, they're like pretty, they're pretty thick, you know? Um, so, um, but I like them and I would recommend them. I recommended them um, to a couple of people already because I was really enjoying them. They're really good for at night if you have issues leaking in bed because I know like you're not really supposed to wear tampons to bed and stuff like that. And then um, like just as a backup, like I said. So I really, look, I'm here to say it. I like the period panties. Like I want to try the Thinks brand. That's the other brand that I was talking about. I was thinking about trying. I want to try those two just to compare. On the website, they look thinner. Like, the material looks thinner, so I'm interested to see, like, do they work just as well? Are they more comfortable, less comfortable? I don't really know, but I do know that these work for me. Um, and I only have one pair. I only have the one pair. I haven't tried, like, they have the thong, they have the bikini, they have all the different ones, but I just grabbed the more full coverage, basic pair, because I was like, let me just see what this is even about. So, like I said, these are them, and I really like them. And um, it just saves me a lot of stress when I'm on my cycle about leaking, because I pretty much, it's like a sure, sure thing. I know I'm not gonna leak when I'm wearing them. So, yeah, there's that. I haven't tried any other styles, just these, but I just wanted to let y'all know. So that's it. All right, now let's see if my wax is ready to wax the situation.
All right guys, so this is my wax kit from Tress Wellness. It comes with the pre-wax, the after wax, and um, it also has a lid. Comes with some of these like rings to help protect the insides of the waxer and then the wax that I've already heated up in here. It basically comes with everything that you need. I haven't bought anything extra to use with this and I've used it quite a few times. You don't need wax strips with this wax so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I wax my face. And this is off of Amazon so I will leave the link down below. So I was completely out of frame for some reason while I was putting the wax on my face every time. Um, so I am so sorry about that, but here you can see it actually does pull out the hairs. I will say it didn't pull out 100% of the hairs, so I did have to go in with tweezers and both remove some hairs and some extra wax that I actually got in my eyebrow. Then I, <laughs> then I waxed my lip, and of course I had to examine it up close and see what it was looking like, but yeah, I always do that because I just want to always see. I finished off each part that I waxed by just using the after wax spray on a cotton pad and just getting all the extra residue off the area. Guys, yeah, so I finished waxing. I just did my mustache. I know y'all saw how crazy that looked. I did my chin patch. I did my eyebrows and that was it. And then I just touched up with the tweezers and I plucked like, you know, just aggressive hair is a thick one um so i should have washed my face first but i'm literally breaking out all over my whole face let me show you i have like some small bumps here really breaking out hormonally here in here which doesn't usually happen but around my period i do always get these hormonal breakouts and dark spots if you guys know anything that can help get rid of dark spots please help your girl out Please help me out because I really want to fade them and get rid of them. I do have some vitamin C serum that I haven't been using, so I should probably use that. But um, I probably should have washed my face before I wax. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face now. I even have a couple of breakouts here. Like, I'm going to choose not to be stressed about it. I'm just going to, because that's just going to add fuel to the breakout fire that's on my face. So I'm going to wash my face. Let me show you what I'm going to use. It's in my shower. We're going to go get it. Hold on. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be using this uh, face wash. It's called the Drift Away Cleanser by Wonder Beauty. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to use my Clarisonic. This is like the Mia 2, I think. It's no, the Aria. This is the Aria. Um, and I'm going to be using this. It's not charged, so we're just gonna use it as a regular brush with no Clarisonic technology. So let's wash the face. Next, I'm using the Clean and Clear Deep Pore Cleaning Astringent, and I'm using this as a toner, and it was stinging my forehead. I think because I had all those tiny bumps on my forehead, whenever I put that product on there, it was a burning, girl. Mm but I just continue to use this on my whole face. And then look, I'm not even barely showing y'all. Well, this is the Pond's um, Daily Moisturizer. This moisturizer is super basic, but it's very hydrating and I have dry skin, so I really love it. Hey guys, so it is a whole nother day and we are still on the journey to take care of ourselves. Last night I was supposed to do my nails and my toes. That did not happen. I actually got pulled for a business thing that I needed that Daniel needed my help with and I ended up working on that till two in the morning. So now it's a must. It's Saturday and the kids are down for a nap. So I just washed my face. I used all the same stuff you guys already saw me use in this video. And now I'm gonna use this Freeman. It's a rejuvenating cucumber and pink salt clay mask. Instantly detox detoxes. Can I read? Instantly detoxes and clears pores for renewed skin. So I'm just gonna apply this. Let's turn you guys around. Right there. 
So, um, I also, I never ended up doing the feed-in braids because um, I decided I didn't want to anymore. I'm actually going to do a wash and go, and I'm going to film it because I'm going to be traveling this summer. Mm, it smells good, and it looks so pretty. The color is like, it's, it's like a mint green. I don't know if you can see that. All right, guys, so I have to get this off my face. It's like literally itching so bad. It's really, really itchy. I think it's just because it's drying, but I'm like, oh, what if it's old? I don't know if you guys can see the way this looks, but it's making me cringe. It's almost giving me like trichophobia vibes. I need to get it off. Y'all, mm -mm. nope, nope. All right guys, I hate to say it, but um, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in my dryer. Hold on. Okay, so while my skin actually does look smooth, very smooth, and it looks, it actually looks visually improved from before, I don't really care because that was unbearable. The way that my face was itching, it felt like I was gonna have a rash all over my whole face when I took it off. And then when I was rinsing it, the way it made these little holes, ugh, mm, I can't, I cannot, I cannot ever, ever again. I'm like, was this expired? Like, does it have an expiration date? Or like, I just don't, I just, I just can't, I can't. I'm gonna put some eye, eye masks on. Cause the dark circles they are there so I'm gonna be using the Wonder Beauty baggage claim eye masks they're gold eye masks these these are by far the cutest eye masks I haven't tried a whole lot but that's how they look So for my nails, I'm ashamed to say that this is sadly the only clip I have. My camera went out as I was recording my nails, so none of the footage was actually there, but I'm just putting some cuticle cream on now, and this is, as you guys can see, a few, like a few days later, and they were not holding up. So I do not recommend this gel brand um, that I'm using, Gelin. Um, I would not recommend you purchasing this product whatsoever, okay? It kept chipping off even after I went and touched everything up like you see me doing here. It was still a problem. But you guys can see my upgraded wedding ring, okay? So um, Daniel upgraded my ring this year and I'm in love with it. I'm so thankful. And um, this is the first ring that he's actually ever bought me. The other ring... Um, he inherited and this one he bought for me this year around Valentine's Day so that's super special so we'll just talk about that and not the nails okay because sweetie it did not work out okay so I I kind of just like used my e-file to kind of like which is like the nail drill to kind of just file away the parts that were chipped a little bit to like roughen them up and then I just touch them up I put the base gel then I put the color and then I put the top coat all over the entire nail and then put them I bake them so this is gel nails but this this brand has failed me more than once so I will not be using it again well I probably will because I have like 24 colors but <laughs> I need to purchase some new ones because this is not working out oh Jesus we got some crusty toes. Okay, guys, I know this looks bad, but this is because I basically peeled the old gel off my toes. Don't do that. Well, I filed it off still. Anyways, I had to put some lotion on, get it looking a little bit better because that was scary. The dogs were barking, but I'm cutting my cuticles. I always do this. I know it's not really 100% necessary, but I really like clean cuticles. And it looks like I'm aggressively digging in the corner because I am 
I like to try to get as much out as I can and I'm not a professional so this is you know it's self-care doesn't mean that it looks good I had to pause the frame here so y'all can see the color I used because I didn't have any clips of me painting them and that's just crazy so look I'm taking the file I'm getting some of like the little extra bits off of my cuticle area but my toes turned out really cute and they still look cute now and they definitely held up so that's good that's a good thing So as a mom, this is the only bubble bath that I had in my home. And I'm like, I am going to be taking a bath, okay? I have not taken a bath in years, you guys. I mean, probably since my honeymoon in Las Vegas. So that was six years ago, six and a half. So I, I don't like my bathtub particularly, which is why I don't really get in it. But as soon as you light the candles and turn the lights down it's a whole nother atmosphere and I had to remember that because I really felt like I don't like how it looks I'm not even going to be relaxed like I'm just not a big fan of this but look the whole vibe is here now I took an extra piece of wood from my kitchen renovation I put it across the bathtub it fit perfectly I have a bath bomb from Lush which smelled so good if you haven't tried the bath bombs from Lush I highly recommend you see it bubbling in the water it's so cool and it turned all the water blue and made my skin so smooth and then I use this cocoa scrub that I got from Victoria's Secret I'm just showing you guys it's like a like a coarse sugar scrub and I really really loved it to scrub my legs in the bath I got in the bathtub I rela I tried to do a face mask but it was coming it was just falling off so I was like forget it you're just you're coming off but I did relax a little bit I got my coloring book out I couldn't see any of the colors I was using because it was dark but I was like no that's totally fine we're just gonna you know go with the flow just whatever one I pick out that's the color we're using today and I just tried my best to just forget about the cares of the world my camera was going in and out of focus so I paused it right here because this was the moment I was actually in focus and I just continued um, coloring for a little while and then I really just laid back and relaxed and enjoyed the bath. I know that taking care of ourselves can seem like an impossible task but even if it takes you 15 days like it took me you need to make the decision to take care of you. I know sometimes it just it's daunting because it seems like it's gonna take more time away from other things you need to do but I trust me in order for you to be the best version of yourself for your loved ones you have to take care of you so this is an encouragement a friendly reminder and a sign for you to do something nice for yourself this week so leave a comment down below and tell me what you're gonna do to take care of yourself this week and I will see you in my next video bye